Okay, next up in the Maui tournament, we have number 21, Washington. And we're gonna get on in, another strong team. Round two. After that energetic intro by me, we're gonna jump to the end of the first half. We're up 13 with 20 seconds left. Oof. And Washington hits a three to go down by 10 with 13 seconds left. Teal takes it up the floor. He's gonna look for Big Ken Anderson down low. With time ticking down, he kicks out and gets tipped. Kinsey's there on the sideline. And it hits the buzzer beater. <laughs> oh, man. Clutch shot by Jamal Kinsey. And things did not change throughout the second half. Up eight here, and that's how we end the game. Cleveland State was favored by five and a half. We covered. The over-under was 88 and a half. We also covered that by scoring a total of 98. Kinsey led the way with 20 points. Four three-pointers for Kinsey. Big day for him. Demps had 12, Teal with 11, Francis eight and two. We move on to the finals. We have made it to the Maui Invitational Finals, headed up against Illinois Fighting Illini. Championship. We're jumping towards the end of the first quarter, and yes, you are seeing that score correctly. Illinois has two points with two minutes left in the first quarter. They did go on a nice little run here to end the first quarter to get them to 11 points. We jumped to less than two minutes left in the game and Illinois has clawed all the way back to get within three. On our side of the ball, we dish down low for a 10 footer. We miss, they get the defensive rebound and they head on down the court with almost a minute left to play. Down three, they dump it down to their big man down low. Goes up strong and gets fouled with a chance to bring it within one. He hits his first. Lines up for the second. Planks it off the rim. We get the rebound, head on down the court. We try to waste as much time as possible. Teal drives, gets cut off. Sees Kinsey out, dishes it, and hits the three to go up five. Oh. And that's gonna do it. After foul shots, we end up winning by six. After a massive first quarter, they come storming back in the second quarter to make it a game. Kudos to the Illini. Teal led the way with 20 points, Kinsey with 10, Francis with nine rebounds, and Demps added six rebounds to it as well. The Maui Invitational Champs goes to the Cleveland State Vikings. And that takes care of the Maui Invitational. Let's jump into recruiting and take a look at how we're rounding out our draft class going into the season. We'll start things off with George Gardner. He's the number one recruit in the entire nation. Five star, six foot four shooting guard out of Lakewood, Colorado. And he has Cleveland State on his short list for his schools. Looking at his performance, pretty, pretty solid. His vertical jump is weak, but everything else is looking pretty good. 55, three point percent shooting is very promising, averaging almost 30 points a game in high school. Typically what we'll do is we'll watch a game. That's gonna help unlock the attributes here, but he's number one ranked player in the country. We want to make sure we get that scholarship out to him as soon as possible so we're going to offer and then after this week we're going to see where we're at with that offer and we'll continue to recruit this guy i think we can land him which will be the biggest recruit in cleveland state history next kurt hannon another shooting guard six foot three from arkansas number third rank recruit in the entire class to his position number one was a previous recruit we're not on a short list just yet but we look pretty close what we are going to do is some more internet research get some more stats on the guy and we're going to give him a call from aaron Kraft. hopefully that bumps us up on his short list 
and then in future weeks we're gonna look at possibly watching the game but we're gonna go ahead and offer him a scholarship he's ranked too high to piddle around and not offer him a scholarship so we're gonna go ahead and get that right off the bat and possibly continue to recruit him to help get him to Cleveland next we have a four-star shooting guard six foot three out of Detroit Michigan he's number nine as position top 30 in, in the entire class he has Cleveland State as his top school so we should be pretty close to locking him up what we're gonna do is we're gonna go watch a game that's gonna help unlock attributes it only costs us seven recruiting points he is in a pipeline state we do have two other shooting guards that we just looked at that's gonna be ahead of him so this will be a depth move and we're gonna just wait a few to offer him a scholarship don't need three shooting guards in a one class next up is Ray Connor from Clearwater Florida he's a number one small forward at six foot ten and this is actually a position that we need to backfill now because of being a pipeline we had low points to go watch a game that's how we unlock the attributes here and from watching his game he's a monster in the low post and can score almost at will his shot blocking ability is average at best he wants to go pro after one season so a guy with high hopes we're gonna go ahead and offer him a scholarship we need his position he's the best in the country at his position we will continue to recruit as needed nick walters from elkhart indiana that's the home of the bach music factory number 11 center in his class a little undersized at 6 9 but this is a position we need to backfill for depth has his number two in his interest list does look like to be a pipeline state so it's not gonna cost much to watch his game so we're going to watch one of his games only seven points and get some attributes unlocked we actually will offer him a scholarship here and here we have tyson coffee number one point guard in the country number 16 the entire class has cleveland state on a short list we are gonna go ahead and spend the points to watch tyson coffee play we're pretty deep at the point guard position so i want to make sure we unlock and see what he has and what he can bring but most likely we are going to offer him a scholarship at some point here because we can't pass up on the number one player in his position the last guy we're going to look at is jamal buckles six foot ten center who is not interested in this whatsoever number two center in his class reason we're going to look at him and try to gain some interest is to have the challenge of trying to pull somebody into our program i don't like underside centers six foot ten is about as low as we want to go we do have that six foot nine fella but we're going to try and seal this guy i think it'll be a good challenge and use of our points here so we'll drop the 28 to watch his game as well do some research on him and that'll do it for a recruiting update. We're going to end things off here. We'll have some more basketball for you in the next video.